Welcome to the CyberWire's Career Notes podcast, brought to you by Recorded Future, delivering advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries. Hi, my name is Selena Larson. I am a cyber threat intelligence analyst at Dragos. We are an industrial cybersecurity company. So when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an author. And I remember writing in maybe second grade a, a book, quote unquote, uh, called The Green Goldfish. It was about, you know, the story of a goldfish who was green instead of orange and some of the struggles that he had faced and bullying with his peers and stuff. And as I kind of got a little bit older, I was like, oh, I don't know about a writer, but I, I, I'm thinking more maybe like a journalist because that sounds exciting. You know, you can like investigate things, you can do research, you can, you know, meet lots of different people and, and travel the world and have some cool stories. So I ended up going to journalism school. I took my undergrad at Arizona State University and I became a journalist. And it, I kind of bounced around actually a little bit. And then when I moved to San Francisco seven or eight years ago, it was like, oh, well, technology is the news here. Like, I am a news reporter. In fact, that's what I said in my interview. I said, I am a news reporter, and in San Francisco, technology is the news. And I got super lucky because I, you know, was thrown into tech um, at a very exciting time, certainly as cybersecurity and privacy issues were, you know, becoming a lot more um, sort of mainstream, I feel like, um, especially when we're talking about a lot of these like social networks and platforms. So I ultimately became a cybersecurity reporter at CNN. And at the time, you know, I liked my job. I thought it was interesting, but I felt that as a journalist, um, unless you have like, you know, a very specific sort of defined beat, uh, you kind of have to be like a jack of all trades and a master of none, if that makes any sense. And cybersecurity isn't just you know, a beat in and of itself. There's a lot of different sort of subsectors in security. And of course, there's industrial cybersecurity. So I became particularly interested in that after um, writing about it and kind of decided that, you know, this is something that really interests me. I feel like I could, you know, really dive in here and become, you know, a subject matter expert on industrial cybersecurity. I feel like the skills that I have as a journalist would be, you know, applied really well in this field. And so I kind of, you know, just decided to, to sort of make the switch. So in my role as an analyst, I do a lot of you know research and reporting. In fact, it's kind of it's kind of interesting how you know closely uh, aligned or you know the similar skills required from a uh, investigative journalist slash reporter and a cyber threat intelligence analyst, right? So there's a lot of reporting. There's a lot of reading. There's a lot of, you know, investigating in different ways, finding patterns in information, finding patterns in data. The role of cyber threat intelligence analyst honestly varies depending on who you're talking to, what their background is, what companies they have worked for, what different intelligence shops look like. But I thought that my eight-year-old nephew described it perfectly. He said when I was attempting to explain my job to his parents, he said, it sounds like you're an internet cop. <laughs> and I was like, that's actually a pretty good description of it, right? You know, like <laughs> an internet cop, I don't know, like we're, you know, looking for bad guys and, you know, trying to help people um, keep themselves safe. When I came to cybersecurity or threat intelligence from journalism, I felt like a fish out of water. <laughs> I had the biggest imposter syndrome you could possibly imagine because I was very early on at my company and I soon realized, um, eventually I realized that me not being someone who comes from, you know, a long history of doing um, cyber 
work or Intel work, like not having that background gives me a different perspective on the work that I am doing. So I would say that like for people that are getting into this field, like don't be intimidated by people whose backgrounds are exclusively tech or, you know, have been coding since they were, you know, small or playing with computers and, you know, they had uh, built their own machine at like 15, right? Like, I think it's getting better for sure, but there's still sort of this um, expectation that people who work in cybersecurity and information security are, you know, the highly technical people with these like very technical backgrounds. You have to have a computer science degree. And I'm here to tell you that you don't. As a journalist, I have a journalist background provides me with kind of a a different and unique perspective as opposed to, you know, a lot of folks in the industry. This CyberWire Career Notes podcast is made possible by Recorded Future. Recorded Future delivers the world's most technically advanced security intelligence to disrupt adversaries, empower defenders, and protect organizations. Subscribe to Recorded Future's weekly podcast, Inside Threat Intelligence, to go inside the world of cyber threat intelligence. Each week, you'll hear stories from the trenches, details on established and emerging adversaries, and insights on the cybersecurity industry. Visit recordedfuture.com slash podcast or wherever you get your podcasts to learn more.